Hey, I got a uh, couple experiments going on, and if you remember from a video oh, two, three years ago now, um, I inoculated a couple logs with a whole variety of mushroom, and that hadn't gone great. I've been checking on those logs, and the mycelium is starting to run through. Um, I, I haven't given up on them. Um, some of them I've buried into the garden as a hugel culture, inoculated log hugel culture. And now I'm taking another tack so we can uh, not give up on this. So we're going to do a couple things here. And the first thing I did was they had oyster mushrooms on sale at the store. And so I just took, um, took one of the larger caps and stem and just left it out and just wanted to see if it would sporulate. And so I just put it in here. So this is coffee grounds, used coffee grounds, and uh, oak, medium toasted oak chips from, um, for the wine making and brewing for beer. Um, so what I hope to do is get some enough mycelium out of either one of these experiments so that the next batch of beer I brew, I'm going to take those grains and inoculate those grains and hopefully we can start laddering this so that we'll get a batch of brew, a batch of mushrooms, a batch of brew, a batch of mushrooms, and then we'll just have it laddered so we can eat, drink, and be merry. So the coffee grounds and the toasted oak chips project here is starting to work. Um, you see on the cap, there's the cap right there. Um, it's starting to sporulate, spread onto the oak chips. And at first I was a little nervous because I tried this once before and it just turned moldy. So this time I made sure that the coffee grounds were still warm from the morning's coffee. And noticing it, I've been just putting a little water in there. You don't want to soak it, but you don't want it to get dry. I noticed the mycelium starting to spread throughout the jar. So this will be exciting. I'll try to do some updates on this. And we'll see if we get um, this whole jar to become inoculated. And then I can just start adding that. Um, so, then at the top of that, I found this at the store while I was doing some shopping. And um, this is back to the roots. This is a Oakland Cali based um, company. And they grow them right out of here. Um, a nice little note to you. Much love, Alejandro and Nikel. Nikil. Um, so, they do a really cool thing when I open this up. They um, said if you send in your picture, that um, they will grow one, give one to uh, some elementary kids. And I figured, well, hell, if I was in elementary school and I got to grow my own mushrooms, I'd have been pretty stoked. Because I remember making butter and that was pretty exciting. So this would have really blown my mind. So this is um, basically what I'm attempting to do, and I had to open this up first because I can't do it one-handed, so everything's already been open, but this is what I'm actually after right here. Look at that. That's all inoculated mycelium. So, they basically have already gotten to this stage where I'm trying to get with this stage, so we're just going to jump ahead. So what they're saying you do is, is you put this back in here. Beautiful mycelium. And, I don't know puff it out a little bit. And there's a nice little vent on here too so it gets some oxygen. Um, but anyway, the, you got to take it out of here but then you pop this little tab off here. Shoop. And then you take your device, um, take a knife and you just cut a plus into it. Scrape the mycelium and um, if you don't have a, a knife handy, your hori hori will work as well. In fact, this might be a little bit better to scrape, but um, so just cut a little plus in there. It should be bigger than that, though. Um, I think the knife works better. And you just go ahead and cut that, and we're just gonna soak the whole thing. Um, general rule of thumb is basically you kind of want it to be like a, a well wrung out rag. So a wet rag. I'm just going to poke a couple extra holes in here to give, maybe I'll get more fruit. 
Anyway, so obviously they want you to take it out of the bag and box because the cardboard will get bad. So our next experiment to grow the oysters is we're going to just put an oyster in the water and see if we get oysters. Um, that is a Kumamato oyster. So we'll see what happens. And try to do this over the course. They say this will take 10 days. So basically I'm just going to fill up the sink, let it soak till we need to do the dishes tonight, and um, take it from there. And I'll, I'll try to update this every day, at least if I see some action. Um, we'll see how much faster my jar from the grocery store does against this bag in a box kit. And then hopefully we'll be making oysters. So anyway, cheers. So they're starting to fruit. See just the first signs of some oyster mushroom fruits. Definitely a lot of mycelium running in there as well. It's getting larger. This the mycelium has gone down to about half of the jar now. It looks to be successful. See how long it takes for it to to fruit. Flush out. And I ate the kumamato. Very delicious oysters. I like kumamatos. Those are going to be delicious. So they're obviously going pretty strong right now. They're a little darker than the wild ones that we've been picking. And, uh, they look delicious, though. So when I went back to the store, they were half off, so we're going to do another one. Which was fortunate because, uh, two things that I noticed with this is um, I think that if I cut into all four sides of the bag that I could actually increase my yield so I'm gonna try that why not right but it was fortuitous because somehow I forgot about this and this got recycled so I really wanted to send this to them so I want to make sure that it's in their box so that um, they know it's theirs and they can send one to an elementary school. So.
pretty cool. Anyway, it's going to really work out well because I have a lot more um, mushroom spawn coming from fungi perfecti. Which will be pretty exciting so we can get going on some other varieties. Um, I'm going to try to mimic what I did with the log video um, as far as the, the shiitake, maitake, um, lion's mane, rishi, lingchi, and whatnot. Um, but it's pretty exciting. These will last us all about like 10 minutes anyway because we love, we love mushrooms, especially oysters. But these are just so cool. Time to harvest. Let's see how many we get. Whoa. Two and seven eighths of an ounce. So two seven eighths ounces. Basically, yeah. Three ounces. Eighty four grams. Eighty four grams for uh, a week's worth of watching and twelve dollars. So 